welcome at chapter two of the free HTML5 course by Education.org. And my name is Dion Frisches. In this video, we're going to talk about structuring, structuring an HTML5 page. Then we're going to see all the HTML tags that are involved. And I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm going to make a web page and now I'm going to do it structured. So structuring a web page. I didn't know if you saw the previous video, but there I opened Notepad and start typing right away. It's not the way it's done. I will show you how it's done. Also make it clear for others to read your code. Not even for others, but also for yourself. You can type in anything you want, but it's really handy, for instance, if you open it the week afterwards to have neat coded HTML that's visually, logically. Visually, logically. <laughs> that's the way it's done. Also use the correct HTML tags and don't forget the closing tags. The tags in HTML, they are case insensitive, but uh, stick with your choice. If you use capitals, use capitals all the time. And now the HTML tags that are involved in structuring. We have the doc type, the document type, and it will tell your browser that it can expect some HTML code. Then we have the HTML tags. This is the HTML tag and this one with the slash is the HTML closing tag. And within the HTML tag comes all the code. What you see here is capitals and then small tags, uh, lower case. I'm sorry, this is the way it's done, but now from now on we'll choose for lower case. Then we have the head and the closing head tag and those will come into the HTML tags. The title tags will be into the head and we have the body. In the body comes the text that I actually want to display. Let's go back to the title. The title is into the head and the body is where I want to use my normal text. Let's open a web browser and here I see education.org, free web development training and this is the text for in the title. Um, I'm going to use the page source, view page source, control F searching and I'm going to search for the title tag. Here it is and it will say education.org, free web development training, nicely closing tag and this one should be into the head and that is correct. What you see also in the head is some kind of meta tags and this one has information that a search engine will use. So also him. Close it, go back to the slides. And now, to, now I'm going to make a structured web page. So I need notepad or on your Apple or Linux, use the equivalent. I'm gonna make the screen bigger. And first I had to do was opening with doc type in capitals and now HTML. This is, this is the way it's done. Then I'm going to type HTML tag. What it's best to do is don't forget the closing tag right away. So I will do it in here. And now I'm going to make some space for the rest of the HTML code. Now I have the head, right away the closing head, and inside of the head came the title. And the closing title right away. And my title, title for this page will be the first structured website. Then comes the body. And after this one, the closing body. And here I can say 
hello world now we are using clean HTML coding I use the break tag and I say thank you thank us for doing neat coding What's even better now, if there's a break, to show the break in here, be visually better. So the code is done, and I can make it more visually better. So what I can do is use a tab key for the header. This one in here, there goes the header. And what I see in here is I use one tab for the head and one tab for the closing. The body, hello world. Now we use a cliche HTML code. Well, and this one as well. I'm being too perfectionist right now. But this looks okay. Um, I'm going to save it. Save as. I'm going to save it on the desktop. The file name has to be index.html. And save. I'm going to the desktop, opening it, and I see hello world. Now we're using clean HTML coding. There's a break. And then thank you, thank us for doing me coding. And here's the text that's in the title. I can do the right click to the view uh, page source, and here I see all the coding that I've done. Make use of the space. What else can do is like this get rid of all the tabs and all of the breaks. And now you will see it's not nice to look at it. File, save. Open it again. Review page source. And okay, this is not really readable. So I'm going to close it down. So what did we see in this video? We talked about structuring a web page. Make it structured. Don't start typing right away the text. Then the HTML tags are involved. We see the doc type, the HTML, the head, and the body. And then we made a structured website. This was Dean Dresch for Education Org, and I want to thank you for staying smart.